everyone and welcome to Lavalia's coloring I'm going to be sharing with you my completed colorings from July so these are the books that I've worked in and I also have some PDFs to share so let me go ahead and clear off my desk and we will get started so as usual, I'm going to start off with the PDF uh, calendar coloring page that was given through Hannah Lynn's Patreon. This is the image from last year. So I colored her illustration called Puppy Picnic, always with a base of alcohol markers and whichever pencils I am using at that moment, plus some white Posca, some glitter gel pen for the border. And all the details so yep so this is my pdf calendar for my coloring journal next i have three pdfs from chris riniak riniak's morning scribbles digital coloring book frogs and friends edition i did get this pdf book from their website i believe it's called brindlewood.com but if it is available on amazon i'll leave a link for the book in the video descriptions below as well as for all of the books that i'm going to be sharing today and if they're pdfs i'll share the link where i purchased them from so i colored three images from this book and it was for disney meg's coloring and amanda colors their color along it's a monthly color along and i missed the past three months so that's may june and july so one day i just like decided i'm just gonna go in and just color each of those months so this one is for july and for all of them i use copic markers and they each took less than 45 minutes so i was able to participate in jamie's uh, jamie's coloring love her july i think um july uh, breakdown prompts for uh, colorings that were completed within 45 minutes and then the other one i did this one was the june illustration and then i think there's just a little bit of white unibol signal i tried to trace the water that's super cute again copic chow markers and then the third image that i colored is the kitty cat and a frog and this one my son mason uh, picked out the colors for the cat and the frog yeah so those are my three completed in chris riniak's morning scribbles digital coloring book of frogs and friends edition my last pdf that i completed in july is an illustration by miss buttered from her um, zodiac coloring book so i'll go ahead and put a cover of that book and also this is the first coloring that i did from it and it is cancer i also printed it out onto the copic marker paper so all of these images i plan to color with those markers or other alcohol markers. So here is Cancer and I used the color palette that was provided from Amanda Colors um, Color Along, the AC Palette Challenge. And so this is how I use the colors. Again, colored with Copic alcohol markers. The background here, I did add some Zig Wink of Stella and then gold Posca on the Cancer sign and the Cancer star symbol, I think, on her nose. And then stickles right there. Add a little bit of glitter. And yeah, so that is the Cancer Girl. Again, from Miss Buttered's Zodiac Coloring Book. And now for the books, I'm starting off with Enchanted Faces, pocket-sized coloring book by Hannah Lynn. And for this book, I am coloring it with a group of wonderful women. And the page that we picked to do was Violet. I believe we picked this for July. Or was it a catch-up month? I can't remember. But um, 
yeah, I would name them right now, but I'm sure I'm going to forget someone. So just to be sure I named them all, I will have them listed down below in the video description. So please check out their Instagram galleries and then, of course, their YouTube channels uh, for those of the women that have one. So this is Violet. And again, I use the color palette from Amanda Colors. And then also uh, last month was the color along for normal coloring where you color a woman with red hair and red lipstick. And that's the same for the Cancer Girl also, which I forgot to mention. I usually enter for several color alongs for one page just so I can participate in a lot of the color alongs for the month. So for Violet, I use a Hoo Hoo brush markers. Let's see right here. A majority, oh yeah, majority is um, based with the alcohol markers. For pencils, I use the Color colored pencils and the Macron pencils. I also use the Colleen colored pencils. And for the white dots in her eye and on the clouds, that is white Posca and some Zig Wink of Stella in this part of her top, which uh, I ended up making it look like it's sheer because the base color that I used here was so close to the skin color. So I just kind of like made it look like it was sheer and then lots of stickles and shimmer. And yeah, so this is my violet from Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. My next coloring is in Reptiloids 2 coloring book. This is by Vassal Psycho or Seiko. And I colored the last page in this book, which went well for Jamie's, uh, that's Jamie's Coloring Love, her July breakdown prompt uh, for the last page. And it also went again for several other color alongs on Instagram. So I did a base of alcohol markers and then that is the Ohuhu brand and then for pencils I use the Faber-Castell Gold Faber the um apron I think so he's like naked with an apron I used the washi tape so I just cut that in there fortunately I didn't go through too much so I didn't break through the paper but yeah I tried to find one of my washi tapes that kind of closely resemble uh, the colors that I used in this page. So yeah, so this is also my first coloring in Reptiloids 2 coloring book by Vassal Seiko. And next, I colored in the very cute coloring book by Hannah Carlson called Kalas or Party in English. I have the Swedish version and I colored a page in here to celebrate my birthday and all of the July birthdays. And I had to color it as a chocolate cake with strawberries. So yeah, strawberries, my favorite with chocolate cake. And then these are colored to look like cloud berries um, which I believe is only found like in uh, the Scandinavian countries I might be wrong but that's how I looked it up as and they look so pretty so I wanted to color them to look like them so I used the Holbein artist colored pencils the background is done with the Oh, shoot, I didn't write it down. Uh, Distress inks. And then I splattered it with the Dr. P.H. Martin Bleed Proof Wide, as well as the Kurataki Gansai Tambi Starry Colors. So that's the gold splattering all around. I did put washi tape around it so it can make a nice crisp border. And yeah very very fun page to color and very very cute book so this is my first completed coloring in Collis by Hannah Carlson 
Next, I have several colorings from this mosaic coloring book called Bottled Treasures by Alice Mills Coloring. And while coloring in this book, I was watching the TV show called From. Um, kind of like Lost. I think it's called From. It sounds wrong, but I think that's what it is. Uh, and yeah, so while we were watching that, I was doing these three pages. So here I have Buck's Silhouette, then Bottle Boutique, and Moon Phrases. Faces. <laughs> and so I only have, I think, four pages left to do, and this book should be done. So yeah, this is great to do in between. And I don't know, when I watch tv or something with the family i feel like i need to be doing something else so uh, i end up coloring in this book so this is bottled treasures by alice mills publishing my next coloring is in whimsy girls celebrate the holidays and festive occasions this is by hannah lynn and i finally colored my first page in this book it's taken me a while i don't know why i think it's because i'm concentrating in the enchanted faces one and it was so weird coloring this big of a page because i was so used to coloring her pocket sized um coloring book so when I did this one I was like oh my goodness it takes a little bit longer <laughs> so this one was done with a base of a hoo hoo markers the whole thing even the background and then for pencils I used the Indra creative colored pencils Posca I have some glitter here on the stars I also use metallic um, pens for the firecrackers and metallic pens I think over here and then for the white splatter is the Dr. P.H. Martin bleed proof white I love using those to make splattering so yeah and this was done for the 4th of July so this is Whimsy Girl Celebrate the Holidays by Hannah Lynn My next coloring is in the Rose and Her Friends 2 Grayscale Coloring Book by Evelyn Van Coatsum. And Evelyn so kindly sent me this book to share on my channel. So I do have a flip through of this beautiful book and also a speed coloring, which I'll try to link up above here and also down below in the video description. So the page that I did a speed coloring of is this one with the wolf i colored him to or her to look like a snow wolf and i use prismacolor premier colored pencils the background was done with distress ink again i did tape it out with washi tape first before applying the distress ink and all of the splattering is done with the dr ph martin bleed proof white with some white Posca and then a little bit of stickles on the poinsettia. Yes, super, super cute illustration to color. And again, my first coloring in this book. So this is Rose and Her Friends 2 by Evelyn Van Coatsum. My next coloring is in Winter Magic Coloring Book and it has Frost Fairies, Peaceful Moments, and Holidays Fun by Yana Prosperina and I was just inspired to color in this book which i have had for a couple of years already uh, i've been wanting to color in it but i took the opportunity when i found out that corey and erica that is colorfully optimistic and elm colors were hosting a color along which i forgot what the name of the hashtag is so i'll put it up on the screen um, their color along is to color any illustrations by yana prosperina so Immediately, I knew which page I wanted to color because I was also inspired by another color along, which was hosted by Sam Way's coloring, and it is to color a unique skin tone, uh, like greens, blues, purple, and I, 
hopefully I put up the hashtag on the screen, but I wanted to color this illustration to look like Alphaba uh, in the winter season. So uh, I cannot, I read Wicked like several, many, many years ago. <laughs> And so I can't remember if it described like what her hair color is. I, all I remember was that she had green skin. So I wanted to color her hair to have like a hint of green, but mostly black. And purple looks great with green. So I wanted to have the um, poinsettias to be purplish with a hint of blue to bring in the background and then the touches of gold everywhere and then the little bird to kind of match the the gold with the browns so yeah so for this page i based it with alcohol markers and then for pencils i used the castle arts pastel Tombow Erosion, um, the white from the Koenor. I don't know why. I think I had that out, so I, pulled, I was just using that. And then also, for a majority of it, I used the Holbein's Artist Colored Pencils, which I think worked very well on this paper. And then the background, after laying down the alcohol markers, I added a little bit more color to make it a little bit deeper blue with a hint of purple. I used the Distress inks and then these white hazy parts here. Those are the gelatos, the Faber-Castell gelatos that I kind of rubbed in. And did I use anything else? Um, The white uniball signal for her eyes and to line the um, candles. And I believe that is it. So this is my version of Alphaba in the winter season, which also, again, goes to another color along, which is hosted by uh, Amanda Colors and Jody from JI Colorist. So hopefully I put their hashtag up here. But yeah, I just love entering one color along or one coloring for several color alongs just so that you know, I can participate in a lot of them. Uh, it's just a fun way for me to pick the right page to cover a lot of color along. So yeah, this is Winter Magic Coloring Book by Yana Prosperina. And the last coloring I'm going to share is from Mythographic Voyage by Joseph Kadambang. And it was a buddy color with my good friend Kelly, Color Journey with Kelly. Uh, unfortunately, he did not like his page, so I'm not able to share it. But um, we do all have those pages that we just are not so happy about. So um, I'm just happy that Kelly got me to color my second page in this book because I'm always coloring my first pages in books. It's rare for me to color my second page. So yeah, thank you so much, Kel, for this buddy color. So immediately, um, he gave me like three pages to choose from. This one stood out to me and I already could picture it with like cherry blossoms in the background. I knew it was going to be a watercolor for the background, but everything else was kind of like up in the air. So um, that was the first thing that I did um, when I started this page. So for watercolor, I used the Kuretake Kansai Tambi. Um, just pretty much for the whole thing. It's a lot of layers. So layer after layer, I stopped. I did get a little bit um, <laughs> more here. But the paper did pretty good. I did flatten it out for several days um, after I finished the background and then after I finished the whole page. So the bridge, I did base that in with the Tombow dual tip um, markers. I don't know if you can see it. Oh no. So uh, when I was basing it, that it was also the same time that we were watching the TV show from. Um, 
yeah, I think I already finished those couple pages from the Color by Number book. So I decided to work on this one. And then I continued this page, all, mostly the deeper colors with Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. And for the water and for the lighter colors here, I used the Faber-Castell Polychromos. For her umbrella, I did shade it in first. Um, to where I think the shadows are for the umbrella before I added the washi tape because the washi tape was see-through except for you know like the gold parts and the colored parts so I knew it was going to show through a little bit and it, they are so hard to color on top of so I was hoping it would really show through and it did so yeah I really like how that came out and then I also used some white Uniwall Signo for the flowers and white Posca. So yeah, so that is my completed coloring for this wonderful book by Joseph Cannonbang called Mythographic Voyage. And yeah, that is all of my completed colorings for July. Towards the end of the month, about a week and a half of the month, I kind of like tapered off coloring. I did want to do a lot more, but then I, I there were other stuff that I had to get done. I had a lot of the Airbnb stuff to do, but then I also had some other like projects that I'm working on. I have two diamond paintings that I'm working on. I have the Diamond Art Club Sugar Plum Fairy by Mandy Manzano, which I'll share up here how much I have done. And that is a buddy uh, painting with T from T's World of Adult Coloring. And then my other giant painting that I'm doing is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith painting, which I think is Frost Dragonlings. I think that's what it's called. If it's not, I'll put the correct name on the screen. So that's how much I have done for that one. And then um, I also completed a puzzle, which I was gifted um, from my sister for my birthday. And it's a Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I think there's a name for this painting, but uh, I forgot what it is, but I did complete it. I'll put a picture up on the screen how it looked like. And I did not really break it apart. I broke it up into pieces. So like, I wasn't sure if I wanted it broken apart, but just in case, you know, um, I want to put it back together. I have it in pieces like this and I just store it back in its box the same way again or if I decide to donate it or pass it along to share then I can just mix it up again so yeah so I think that is it that I've worked on I've been uh, also starting a character for Dungeons and Dragons which I finally finished a backstory for and I making a DND &D character journal so that's been taking some of my time also but I, I'm so new to Dungeons and Dragons so if you've played before if you have any tips feel free to leave them in the comment section so anyways uh, all the books and um, anything I've shared on this video you can find a link to it if I can find it in the video descriptions down below and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Please take care, keep safe, and thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Happy colorings. Bye-bye.